people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac, pase, what they do. Now, people, we see that the Popo is putting in some work and we have to give credit where credit is due because we see that at least one person that was on Clarendon's most wanted list, we are speaking about their top 10 list. He has been captured and we are speaking about a person whose name is George Francis and he is from Blackwood District and he was arrested by the parish's SWAT team after being wanted for jumping over the fence. So, people, that is one out of the 10. So, so far and the next person that the popo took into custody his name is robert johnson and i don't think that he is in the top 10 list however he was also wanted he is said to be a vendor and he is also known as aka oc shippy and he was picked up by the popo as a suspect in a shooting incident somewhere on sevens road era we are speaking about in may pen and last but not least, we are speaking about Radcliffe Gentles and he is from 19 Miles and he is said to be wanted in a matter that is investigated by Sissoko. So people, we are talking about Pitney, we are talking about him jump over some sort of Pitney fence or him basically touch up some Pitney. So people, we are speaking about at least three serious person that was taken up by the popo and the last person he actually gave in himself he turning himself into the popo so people we see that the popo has been having a lot of success as it pertains to the Huntsby incident we saw that at least eight people take for themselves and out of those eight six were captured and one was slapped away so therefore that left one on the run and also as it pertains to me when we are talking about Clarendon at least five people take for themselves and at least four was captured or turned in themselves so people we have to give credit where credit is due and the poor boys actually doing their job so we can only come to the conclusion that if and when the poor poor get serious about crime and if and when they put in the effort like they are supposed in every case they will always reap the benefit so the moral of the story is that the poor poor should learn and take incentive from these three different incidents we are speaking about Hunts Bay, we are speaking about Maypen, and we are also talking about the Clarendon's top 10 list people that is all i have to say and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source one word don't put any space between the words and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people the popo is supposed to be celebrating Montego Bay is supposed to be celebrating. Jamaica is supposed to be celebrating because they took away two of the biggest teeth we are talking about Jamaica has ever seen. And people, these people are too fat man, are too heavyweight. We are talking about two big body youth. However, they are as serious as a heart attack. They are as bad as bad can get. We are speaking about a person, 47 year old Melville Atty, and also his crony. And people, this this is Melvin right here. We are speaking about in this greenish turquoise looking shirt. And here is his friend. We are speaking about his crony. Now, people, I know that you've seen the video I am speaking about, that infamous video that was making rounds all over social media. And if you did not see it, here is a sample right here. So people, that was a sample of when they jacked up the Chinese business people for $8 million. We are talking about $8 million Jamaican dollar or something like that. However, what a lot of persons or most persons I think that nobody has seen except for now is the video when the popo and the soldier we are speaking about the military team actually went for we are speaking about mr atty and his crony so people take a listen take a look and then i'll give my peace
Some people like the Popo said or claim or allege it was a S-H-O-O-T out. They were pounced upon or basically they claim that Mr. Atty and his cronies basically start blaze up some corn upon them and after they return the corn, people D-E-A-D, -E we are speaking about Mr. Melville Atty and also him friend, him crony and some of them take for themselves which is kind of hard to understand and makes absolutely no sense how some people take for themselves when the poor posts around the place where are speaking about the military team along with the soldier. So anyways, people, like me said before, these are some serious youth we are talking about Mr. Melville and also his crony. And when we talk about his crony, he was said to be a very notorious person in the Montego Bay era. Anybody where him know of anything, may I talk about businessmen, may I talk about drug dealers, he would be going for it. Me a talk about a very serious youth, a thief in youth, a cold and calculated callous youth. So the moral of the story is that Jamaica is supposed to be celebrating and specifically Montego Bay is supposed to be celebrating and the Popo and also the justice system in Jamaica. Everybody should be excited and elated because they got rid of, we are speaking about some notorious persons point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless now the next thing that is popping in the news and it is going to be unbelievable it is going to be jaw dropping is the fact that it was announced that 1044 cruise ship workers are supposed to are due to return on the island on sunday aboard the royal caribbean adventure of the sea cruise liner now this is part of the government control re-entry program as it pertains to jamaican citizens that are overseas stranded we are talking about in the uk we are talking about america we are talking about canada and even on these cruise ships now people when we hear something like this we see that the government, we are speaking about Andrew Holness, he is contradicting, he is conflicting because he did an interview yesterday at some sort of conference and he claimed that there will be no more Jamaicans coming to Jamaica as part of the re-entry program for the next two weeks and people when we talk about today or Saturday or Friday and we talk about Sunday that is not two weeks that is more like two days so is he misinformed or is he just plain out line or is he just dazed and confused and what is even more disheartening about the whole situation is that we see that they've been having problem as it pertains to the last batch of purse that came in from america we are talking about new york and we are speaking about miami and also canada we are speaking about at least 200 persons that were taken to the hotel we are speaking about in saint Anne's bay may i talk about bahia principe where they were complaining about bad treatment they were complaining about the room condition they were complaining about the abuse of the workers we are speaking about the nurses and also employees of that hotel because they were treated like second class citizens they were treated like some rejects point blank and period so people if we are talking about 200 persons and they are having problem with that so the rhetorical question that i am asking what is going to happen when five times more the amount of 200 comes on the shore of jamaica we are talking about sunday at the falmouth pier where they are set to disembark or come off of the ship people we are speaking about motor problem because it is obvious that the government of jamaica they are not ready they are ill prepared they did not put we are speaking about all sort of stuff into place people we are talking about people are going to be suffering people are going to be disgruntled people are going to be dissing the government people are going to sound as if they are ungrateful because people the truth and the facts that they are not ready and people don't get it twisted don't get it misconstrued i understand that jamaica is a poor third world country however i think that this is just based on mismanagement we are talking about people did not do their job we are speaking about irresponsible persons and negligent persons point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up